Hi class, I want to demonstrate how to find three measures of the center for a data set like the one I have here. So again, this is that uh, column of grades from a previous semester for the first exam in the course. And we're going to talk about how to find the three measures of the center that we discussed in class. So the first one would be the mean, right, or the average. So I'm going to type mean as a label, and then underneath it I'm going to click equals to begin a new function. And we're just going to use average, so we'll type average. And you see the second option that comes up after I type AB is average. I'll double click that and then I can grab and select the data that I want to find the average for. There it is. I press enter and as I scroll up I can see that my mean is 73.9. All right next we'll do the median. So median I'll put a little label. Oops try it again. <laughs> Oh my goodness, what am I doing here? All right, median, there we go. Okay, And then we're going to type equals and begin to type the word median. There it is, top pops up, I'll double click it. Again, we want to select the data that we want to use and calculate the median for the data. Click enter and there it is, 72. That's the number smack in the middle of our data set. And lastly, we can figure out what the mode is. Now, the mode is, you know, a little bit we have some options so let's click this and we'll type mode and you see you're going to have different modes available so if you click through them this is going to give you um, this one here is going to give you the mode for the list of value and it will give you multiple modes if there are multiple modes so in other words if there remember mode is the most repeated value so if there were three values that were most repeated or four values that are most repeated or two values that are tied for the most number of repetitions it will list those for you so you know, if you have two numbers that appear eight times, that'll be listed. If you click beneath that, this is going to give you the most frequent recurred value period. So let's compare the two. If I select this one, right, and I highlight this and scroll down, and press enter, you see I get the answer 83. But the problem with that answer is that there are... 783s, but if you look further, you see, oh, it looks like there's a lot of 72s. If I highlight those, there's also 772s. So why didn't it report those as well? It's because I wanted the single mode. So let's go back and click the multiple mode one. So mode multi. And now when I highlight this list, click enter, I now get three values. And there is my set. Right, so my three modes, there's actually 83, 72, and 61 are all tied for seven repetitions, so it reports all three as the mode. And so there you have it. You have your mean, median, and mode all done in 